Did you really uh, have dinner with John Cena? I did. That's I did. awesome. I did. <laughs> Seth knows about it, right? <laughs> he was texting me all day. Just got my dinner with John Cena tonight. <laughs> Sorry, I won't be available tonight. I'm just going out to dinner with John. What? I know you told me. John Cena. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. John Cena. That's I right. spent a small amount of time with him in a room with microphones. Right. I was like, John you did, Cena. You, you didn't bring John to the basement, though. No, I would trust me. Yeah. I'm, I'm already trying to figure out, yeah. like, okay, how do I finagle John okay. to come? Because this yeah. is where the real conversation. This is where the happen. magic happens. This is where the magic mm, happens. I, uh, I mean, is this, how did the dinner with John Cena come about? Is this have you just remained friends since just your time friends. in WWE? You know, John was somebody who, uh, you know, he saw what I was doing with the Z trolling out of the story. And it's like this kid like wants it, and and he gave me so much advice. There's so many things uh, outside of the ring, inside the ring that I owe to John Cena. So. What is something that, that some advice that John Cena gave you? Because I mean, just spending a small amount of time with him in like an interview situation, right. I was blown away by it. You know, I was putting clips out from the interview and I was reading all the fans that were like just listening to this guy. The level of wisdom and the level that he's working at when it comes to wrestling is like insane. Oh, insane. And like, I think the number one thing, like the merchandise, how important it is. Yeah. Right. And like, you know, every couple of months he would switch up everything, switch up all the colors. It's, it's the orange. It's not, it's not just a new shirt. It's the wristbands. It's the hat. Yep. They, they change the, the Tron. The ta right, the end the towel. Uh, so he knows what he's fucking doing. He's John Cena for a reason. Yeah, how about uh, him coming out at, what was it, SummerSlam in the, like, limited edition? Yes, that NFT shirt the thing. NFT right. shirt, yes, yes. right? Like, he knows, the merchandise is so, so important, and he's, like, the king of it. Yeah. So anything I could, like, pick his brain on, um, I would. It's, it's, do you, do you feel like uh, that that's, that's what has, attracted people to you who kind of love wrestling is that they see that thing in you they're like oh this this back then this kid's for real because i mean yes. john cena was a big yes zach Ryder yeah. supporter pretty yeah, publicly so, you know when i was doing that youtube show it was guys like john cena who had retweeted or post about it uh, or steve austin or ddp you know what i'm saying like one of those guys who would post about it that would make people watch and give it a chance then they're watching it and they realize this kid is just like us he's a fan who grew up loving this like and they it made them root for me. And even to this day, some of those fans I still and I, some some of those fans I wrestle now in the Indies, which is even crazier. That's why like people who tried who tried to be Broski. I haven't wrestled a Broski of the Week yet, <laughs> but people have tried to be. You know, yeah. You know, I haven't wrestled a successful Broski of the Week yet. So if you're out there, let me.